every day probably they will uh, you have this uh, plug-in <laughs> uh, GPT that you know. yeah. I think there's multiple like levels of threats to address, and also different time scales. Um, different countries are going to have very different regulatory approaches to some of the, sh the short-term challenges. You know, how do we think about issues of bias in the systems? How do we think about issues of reliability? Um, how do we think about the economic impacts? But one thing that we've been discussing on this trip around the world, uh, this is the 21st country last month, is the need for the global community to come together around regulation of AGI. So as these systems become so powerful that they affect the entire world, um, I think we do need a global response there. The upside is, of course, tremendous, but the downside gets quite severe as these systems become, say, as powerful as all of the current human society. And there's been a great deal of interest on our trip around how the world comes together to say, okay, what is a licensing framework and what are safety standards for people that are at the very frontier? We certainly don't want to put regulatory burden on smaller companies on open source models, that's very important. But if someone's creating a system they expect to be a real AGI, um, there are safety concerns there that affect all of us. And I think that calls for a global regulatory response. That's very hard to do, of course, but we've done it when we face global risk before nuclear weapons, some parts of bio biological research. I think we can do it again here. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, I think that <laughs> there is something that's uh, very interesting. Let's go for the next question uh, for you, Sam. Uh, what tactics <coughs> and indicators uh, you, as the CEO, keep an eye on on a daily or weekly or monthly basis? Do you have this uh, GPT help you achieve this? I don't, but maybe I should. So one, one of the things that is different about OpenAI than any company that I've worked closely with before is fundamentally we're a research company. And you know we do have to make products, and we love making products, but that's all well understood. So the metrics for like ChatGPT are standard and what you'd expect from any company. You know, we look at, or, or even our API, you can just look at like app users, you can look at that motor score, you can look at revenue and growth. Um, and that's all like well understood. That's kind of like in the tech company lore. What what's new for us is how to build a company that does great research. And what metrics are you supposed to look at for a company that's trying to produce repeated research breakthroughs? And you know, when I I came into OpenAI, I'm thinking like, oh, this will just be like a software company. We'll set quarterly goals, we'll have like metrics that we look at, and that really didn't work at all. There are some times, like when we're training a model and we have an evaluation of the metric, we get to watch it go up, and that's very satisfying. Um, everyone loves that, it's really fun. But if you're trying to figure out a new paradigm, uh, you, that kind of like just doesn't, it, it just doesn't work. Uh, there, was a, there was a moment, kind of like somewhat early in history of OpenAI, where I watched this talk uh, by a, a, a researcher that used to work with us named Ken Stanley, called Great This Cannot Be Planned. And it really changed like all of the thinking about how we manage research. Uh, and now it's it's like much more about people that are working on things that they think might get us to the right direction and being willing to be patient over many months or years uh, if it sort of it fundamentally fits our the parameters of our research taste. Most of the time it doesn't work out. When it does work, it works breathtakingly well. And then you, the, the, the art is trying to notice early when something <coughs> is showing these early signs, and you want to put a lot of resources behind it. All right. OK, thank you. So we have the next question here. Uh, all right. As uh, Sam Alton, recently there has been discourse around existential risk posed by AGI. How much should AI come 